Hello and welcome to Point of View. Let's take a walk down history. Today marks the 10th anniversary of the ill-fated Russian Proton M rocket that crashed on July 2, 2013, due to an emergency shutdown of the booster's engine 17 seconds into the flight. The unmanned Russian Proton M rocket had launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The 17-story tall booster destroyed three onboard navigation satellites, which were worth almost $200 million at the time. Here's the video of the rocket crash from Russian state-run Russia, 24 television. It shows the vehicle veering off course shortly after liftoff, and then breaking apart in mid-air and exploding in a fiery blaze once it hit the ground. The rocket was carrying 600 tons of highly toxic propellant, which was spilled when the booster blew up into pieces. The burning fuel gave off a poisonous smoke, but the cloud was partially contained by rain at the launch site. People in the nearby town of Baconer, 36 miles or 60 kilometers away, were told to stay home with their windows closed. And public shops and cafeterias were closed. The impact occurred in a safe area that was evacuated for the launch and all personnel were reported to be unharmed. The Proton M rocket was insured for 6 billion rubles or $182 million with the Russian Insurance Center. The three satellites on board the rocket were intended to join the GLONASS navigation network. Russia's counterpart to the United States GPS system. The so-called angular velocity sensors were a critical part of the circuitry that kept the rocket upright during launch. They were so important that they even had little arrows on them that were supposed to point toward the top of the rocket. That seemingly was not enough to prevent a young technician from installing them upside down causing the rocket to reduce to a fiery ball soon after liftoff, destroying the expensive payload. The upside-down sensors misinformed the rocket's flight control system. In this video you can actually see the massive machine wobble back and forth as the system appears to try to correct the problem. This was the fifth major Proton rocket launch failure since December 2010, with the most recent in December 2012, when a Proton booster launched a telecommunications satellite into the wrong orbit. After that accident, Proton rockets were grounded. The long-delayed maiden flight of the Proton M rocket didn't happen until April 7, 2001 when the more advanced version of the Russian workhorse launcher finally lifted off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome and placed the Ekron M-18 communications satellite into the circular orbit 36,000 kilometers above the equator. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.